Hello, today we are going to speak about William Hogarth's art again and today we are going to get acquainted with his portrait of Captain Thomas Coram. Do you remember which portrait we discussed last time? Yeah, that was a woman's portrait and that was the portrait of Mary Edwards. Today, we are going to look at the next portrait. This is the portrait of Captain Thomas Coram. Look at this man closely. Captain Thomas Coram was a sailor and a charity man. That is, he was a donator. He was a seaman and a shipbuilder. You can see it that to his left there is the London Harbour with boats sailing in the distance and the globe that stands on the floor shows a rich experience of traveling by sea. The book that is lying next to the globe shows that Thomas Coram was a well-read and uh, a very educated person. He founded a hospital or a boarding house of which the artist uh, was uh, a supporter and uh, this painting was donated to that hospital. So what kind of hospital was that? I would like to talk about it in more detail because it's a very interesting story. It's worth mentioning that in the 18th century, the, um, the situation in London and in England was very bad. Many people were unemployed and many people were, were very poor. They were on the brink of, um, of poverty. And many women left their newborn children outside, being unable to feed and bring them up. That's why a lot of newborn babies were lying all around London without any chance to survive. Uh, Captain Thomas Coram sympathized with the babies and he couldn't just uh, pass by indifferently. So he decided to found a special organization, a boarding house or a hospital where the babies could be brought up by the um, by governors. So mothers were supposed to bring their babies to that hospital at night time so that nobody could see them. And they left their babies there to be brought up by governors and by educators who worked there. Uh, that hospital worked for more than 200 years and uh, more than 27,000 children were brought there. Uh, some of them even met their moms uh, after several years passed. Uh, when a woman brought her, uh, brought her child there to the hospital, she had to accompany him or her with a special object that uh, would serve as an identification uh, symbol if mommy wanted to, uh, turn to return her baby back. That is why if you look here, you will see those objects that were attached to the uh, registration lists of the kids that were brought to the boarding house. You see uh, different objects and uh, one object uh, that they were like there were pairs of one and the same object. One object from the pair was left with the baby and the other was taken by his or her mom. And if uh, mommy wanted to return her baby to her, she just needed to show the identification object and her baby could be returned to her. Uh, sometimes the object was only one, but it was divided into halves. So in this case, one half was left with the baby and the other was taken by his or her mom. Okay, now... 
look at the picture once again. I'll give you some seconds and then I will ask you questions about the details you can spot in the picture. Ready? Okay, so can you trace an odd one out? Can you point to the object that was not present in the point in the painting? The right answer is glasses. Glasses were not present in the painting. Let's move on. Can you trace an odd one out here? Can you find the object that is not connected to the person, to the personality of Captain Thomas Coram? So is that a sheep, is that a pizza, or is that a baby in a basket? The right answer is pizza. We know that Thomas Coram was a sailor man, that's why sheep uh, do have something in common with his personality. And we know that he was a donator and a founder of a big hospital for kids uh, who couldn't be brought up by their moms. That's why the baby in the basket also had something to do with his personality. But pizza, yeah, that's an odd one out here. Now look at these three portraits of men and try to identify which portrait A, B or C was painted by William Hoggas. The right answer is C. This is the portrait that was painted by William Hoggas. And now it's time for sharing. Please let, look at your father or your granddad and draw his portrait. Take a photo and post it in the commentary to this post. Good luck to you. Bye.